Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you my brand new break-even calculator for Social Security. Now this calculator is 100% free. You're not gonna to have to give me your name, email address, or jump through any other hoops. It's just my gift to you that I hope you find useful. But I do think it's important to have the proper framing of this calculator before we jump into showing you how this works. So the basics of a break-even calculator are for you to input two filing ages and see how long it takes for one filing age to catch up with the other filing age in terms of cumulative payments. So for example, if you compare filing at 62 versus waiting until age 70, you'd see that you need to live until about 80 for the cumulative benefit to reach the same amount. And after age 80, you'd be better off for having waited until the later filing age. Now, for a long time, I hated these calculators because so many people were using the results of these to make their filing decision. And I think when you use one of these alone, that's a horribly short-sighted approach. If you're only looking at your benefit over your life expectancy, there's a good chance that you're gonna make a decision that isn't optimal because these calculators overlook factors such as spousal benefits, survivor benefits, other assets and income, and a few other factors that have to go into the filing decision. But over time, I've come to realize that as a standalone singular data point in making the decision, they do have some value. And I'm all about you getting all the data that you can. Now, I've had one of these calculators made in the past, and over the past year, it's had about 50,000 users. Now, as a result of those users, I've had a lot of feedback about how I can make this better. So instead of trying to fix that calculator, I wanted to start from the ground up and build an all new calculator that would not only show you the answer to the break-even age, but would also show you the numbers behind that break-even age. But before we jump in, look, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Coming up soon, I'm gonna be releasing my spousal benefits calculator. Now this is an area of social security that still confuses so many people. And this calculator is gonna help bring some clarity that will help you understand how this spousal benefit is actually reduced or increased based on filing ages. And if you're subscribed with those notifications turned on, you're gonna know as soon as I release that video. All right, so let's jump into my brand new break-even calculator for social security benefits. Now. I'm gonna link this up in the description so you don't have to write down a long website address. So the only information you'll need to input is your date of birth. That's for calculating your full retirement age. So let's say that your date of birth is March 2nd, 1964. Next, you'll wanna put in your estimated benefit at full retirement age. Now look at your most recent estimate from the Social Security Administration and that estimated benefit is, is gonna be prominent at your full retirement age. Don't inflate this number. Just use it as it is on your most recent statement. And I'll show you how we're gonna account for inflation in a later step. So for this example, we'll assume the full retirement age benefit is $2,860. Next, you wanna input your early filing age and late filing age. These are the two ages that you're going to be comparing against each other to see which one breaks even. And you can do this all the way down through choosing a specific month. So you can put in whatever age you want to. For example, uh, we're gonna use 62 and zero months and 70 and zero months. And for the last input, you wanna choose the average annual increase amount. Now, this is the amount by which you think benefits will increase every year. And we'll just leave that at the default, which is 2% for this example. And already you can see the results in the bubble of 78 years and nine months. Now, if we scroll down, you can see the actual math behind those numbers. Uh, the first column I wanna draw your attention to is the full retirement age benefit or PIA column. This column was a highly requested feature and it only serves as a point of reference because when your benefit is calculated, what is actually happening is that your current year primary insurance amount is reduced or increased based on your filing age. And for those of you who aren't familiar with that lingo, the primary insurance amount, which is often referred to as the PIA, is generally synonymous with the amount you're entitled to 
at your full retirement age. So it's effectively 100% of your benefit. But on an annual basis, this PIA has increased if there's a corresponding increase to inflation. This could be a cost of living adjustment or a wage-based adjustment if you're under 62. Then after the PIA is adjusted, the reductions for filing early or the increases for filing later are calculated. And that becomes the benefit for that year. So in this case, you can see that a 60-year-old who has a current full retirement age benefit of $2,860 and has selected an average annual increase of 2%, they'll have a PIA, or a full retirement age benefit, of $3,035 in February of 2027 when they turn 62 in 11 months. Now, directly to the right of that, in the blue shaded columns, you can see the monthly benefit, and right beside it, there's a column that adds up the cumulative benefit. And then in the green shaded columns, you can see that since this person has not yet received a benefit for this comparison, this age 70, there's zeros there. And if you scroll on down, you'll see where the benefit amounts for filing at 70 breaks even with the benefit amount for filing at 62 and zero months. From that point, the difference in cumulative benefits starts to grow rapidly. So play around with this calculator, enjoy it, share it with your friends, and I'd love to hear your comments down below. Thanks for watching.